Okay, I think I made the mistake a few new game developers make. I jumped into the design before actually finalizing what the game is. So, um, I mean, I have two locations. I've got a home and I've got an office sketched out, but I jumped right into doing the 3D version of what it's gonna look like. And um, the rich environment I was creating in Unity, plus the additional assets, um, became really hard to prototype in when I started to build in some of the, the game motion. So. I think I was on the path to create a really, really beautiful, rich environment for a game that sucks. So, yeah. So, I'm going to gray box the entire game in one day. And if I still have strength after that, I'm gonna go ahead and nav mesh it. So you can actually traverse this thing. So it actually kind of works, so. I'm going to do that after my classic Asian lunch. So I'm going to show each skill I use, how to do that from scratch once, and then once I get to repetition, I'm going to fast forward through that stuff. So if you want to follow along, okay, so a 60, 60 second primer on your control keys for, for modeling, create an object, cube, if you zip around, that's your X, your Y, your Z. Um, if you hold down control, you're gonna snap to the world. It's pers in its in chunks of the meter. So that's very, very handy. If we do um, our main keys are W, E, R. W is to move. E is to rotate. And R is to scale. Okay. And if we go ahead and hold control on any of those, you'll do it in meter chunks or half meter chunks. Same with rotate. If we do that, it'll be fixed amounts of degrees. So it's easier to snap to um, blocks of 45. Or is it half of 45? 12 and a half. And that is it. All right, so I'm gonna start speed building. Do a quick walkthrough. This is our house. This is the kitchen, I think. It's the kitchen. This is the bedroom. There's the bathroom. This is the other bathroom. Whoa, this place is huge. Should work fine. This is gonna be the dining room. This is the living room. Now that's the front door normally, right? But we're gonna block that off. That's not gonna be there. And if you go upstairs, this is the upstairs of our house. It's gonna be here. And this is uh, just a bunch of bedrooms. Okay. And we just fall off here. And then if we actually go out of the front door of our house, we can walk to the office. We can put driving mechanics in it later, but that's not the point of the game. So, and this is our office now. It's the big conference room. There is the cafeteria. And there's one of two offices, A and B. Oop, came out of the cafeteria. 
You ate too much. Better go to the bathroom. Oh, that one's taken, that one's taken. Okay, yeah, you get the idea. So, let's bake this up. If you look closely, this shows you now where an NPC can walk. Or us. Or no, just AI. They can't walk through walls or anything like that. Okay, so I think that's it. We're ready to start building our game after this. Okay, now the now this region in blue represents anywhere an AI person can walk and traverse. And I think we have our two-story home and our office kind of stubbed out and ready to um, populate with game logic and interactivity. All right, so, all right, if you're interested, see you in uh, video three.